Hello, it's Paddy back again from creativemedia.org.uk and today I'm going to give you some tips about how to get your sound levels right in your videos. If you're publishing videos online, it's very polite to make sure all the volume ranges are about the same so the people watching don't have to keep turning the volumes up for one video, down for the next. It's even worse if you're doing a presentation. One video is going to deafen everyone in the room, the next one's going to be too quiet and so nobody's going to be able to hear. I've got a video here and I'm going to have a quick look at the sound and see how it's looking for volume range. To do this I'm going to use Audacity, which is an excellent free wave editing tool. Now if I try and drag this straight to my Audacity icon on a Mac, it won't open. But if I hold down the magic key combination of Command and Alt, then I can open it. It'll just open the audio. You can see here, the loudest part is not the full range of volumes, so it's not using the computer's full range of volume. So what I want to do is amplify this, so this loudest part reaches the top of the line. I will select all, I'll go to effect amplify, and this automatically amplifies it, so the peak amplitude is 0 dB. Computers use full scale dB where zero is the loudest possible noise they can make. So there's my sound amplified. I can save that as a WAV file. I've now got the normalized sound and the original video. So now at the clever bit, to put them both together without having to recompress the original video file, just changing the audio file. I'll open both of those in QuickTime Pro. And if I press Command J, I can see the individual tracks, the video data and the sound data. I can turn off the sound in the original one. Then I can go across to my normalized sound, select all, copy it and close that now. Make sure I'm at right at the very beginning of this video and choose edit, add to movie. If I look at the properties now, I can see there's not just one soundtrack, there are now two soundtracks. Here's the original soundtrack, which I've turned off, and here is the new soundtrack, which I've just added. And I can check with the speaking here. That's in sync, but it's a bit louder than the original one. And now if I want to resave this as an MP4, I can choose export, MP4. Options. I'm not using any video formats, I'm using pass through. So that's not going to change the video at all. And I'm going to have to recompress this audio, but it's the new bit of audio that I've just grabbed. And it's got the right range of volumes now. So I'll OK that. And off I go. And as you can see, that's pretty quick because all it's doing is compressing audio, it's not doing anything to the video. So the video is identical to the original. There's my normalized one, which is identical to, um, we were first in. to the original one, apart from the audio being louder. And that's just one of the many things you can do with QuickTime Pro.